All right, today's passage gives two names for Jesus, apostle and high priest. As we continue considering the names of Jesus, let's read our passage today and then consider why Jesus is called an apostle. Tomorrow, we'll consider why he's called a high priest. Today, apostle. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 1. Therefore, holy brothers, you who share in a heavenly calling, consider Jesus the apostle and high priest of our confession. So the word apostle means literally one who is sent. It describes a person who has been authorized uh, and commissioned to represent another person. Well, Jesus is our apostle. He was sent from God as the Father's representative on earth. Jesus was sent from God. Jesus said that he did not come from heaven to do his will, but to do the Father's will in John 6, 38. And he taught that his work on earth had been explained in scripture by the one who had already sent him, John 5, 37. Jesus in John 5, 30 said his purpose on earth was to please the one who sent me to do God's will, to, to accomplish his work. He, Jesus declared that eternal life is given to whoever hears my word and believes in him who, what? Sent me. John 5, 24, Jesus is the apostle, the one who was sent. When Jesus stepped out, of, or rather when Peter stepped out of the boat and started walking on the Sea of Galilee, you remember that? He was good to go until he took his eyes off Jesus. His focus on the, on the wind and the waves initiated his descent into the water. This simple yet profound instruction is given by the writer of the Hebrews. He says we're to keep our minds focused on Jesus, our apostle, the one sent from God. God is the one who sent Jesus for us to teach us, to save us, to usher us into heaven. Keep your eyes focused on Jesus. Father, we want to thank you for sending Jesus to provide us a way to you. There are so many distractions, so many things we, we, we look at and watch and focus on. Lord, help us to fix our eyes on Jesus. Like Peter, walking on the water, he was good until he took his eyes off of Jesus and started looking at all the things around him. We can relate to that because we get distracted. But you want us to, 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 to live a life pleasing to you, to do, to do things that, uh, that will bring meaning and, and, and purpose and significance in our lives. So help us to keep our eyes on Jesus, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. So it's easy to say, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, right? But how do you, how do, you do that? Well, one way is what we're doing here. Being in God's word on a regular basis making certain you're hearing God's word, his word written, just his love letter to you. So if you want to keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, just keep reading his word. Hey, thanks for joining us today on the journey.